This is a big week. Earnings on a lot of the big stocks like the Metas, the Amazons, and so on and so forth. This is the midweek October 25th review of the Platinum Swing Trading Channel. Let's get going. Let's get into it. Let's check out the S&P 500 and the VIX. And then we're going to look at the watch list and two trades that Mark initiated and closed out today. This is a chart of the S&P 500. SPX is the symbol. The index closed today below the 200-day period moving average, uh, closing down $60.91, $60.91 or 1.43%. Now, when we see the S&P break 1%, uh, when it comes to volume, what we're or yeah, our percentage change, we see a lot of selling, or if it's up one percent, we see a lot of buying. And this is a lot of this is being being caused by algor algorithmic trading and volatility, volatility, volatility trade. Wow, I had to say that twice at least. Volatility, tra volatility traded funds. And a lot of those volatility traded funds are insurance companies and annuity companies. And because when their protocol is when this, the index or their benchmark gets above a certain volatility level, they buy or they sell. And that's where we've seen these accelerations in buying and selling heavily influenced by these big insurance and annuity companies along with hedge funds and all this other stuff. So let's take a look at the VIX as well. So this is the VIX or volatility index, which represents the volatility of the S&P 500. And for a long time, since May, we've seen the VIX below this $17, $18 range or below the 200 period moving average. And at times, below that 50 period moving average. Well, that's changed. And that changed back around the uh, September 26. And volatility jumped up uh, to the 20s. It came down, tested the 50, and moved back over the 200 and has broken as high as, uh, what's that, 22.03 on um, October 23rd and came back a couple, a uh, couple, uh, well, pulled back, and today it's now up again. So volatility is something to keep an eye on. When the volatility index goes over twenty, that is typically a bearish move. It is sustaining that, and if we see a bust higher, say over twenty-two or twenty-five, then we are really, really in a volatile environment, and that affects the S&P 500, but it also affects the NASDAQ, the Dow, and everything else. We want lower volatility for a bull market and lower, higher volatility for a bear market. So keep an eye on this. So let's get to Mark's watch list trades. These are trades that met all of Mark's requirements that he put on uh, as of Monday on the list, they went on the list on Sunday. If you transact them Monday morning, this is the result you got because he closed out these two. Let's check them out. All right, I'm going to butcher this name, so I apologize. But the symbol is CCJ or Cameco Corporation. Now, Mark got into this, put it on the list on Sunday. If you bought in the morning, uh, in the morning on uh, on Monday. You bought it at uh, 38.31, uh, and then he cashed out of it today at that uh, 39.51. A really nice trade. And what I want to point out is this met all of Mark's criteria: above the 200, above the 50, above the uh, 20, and above the nine on as of close of business or as of Monday. It then broke out. So if you bought this, you broke out. And on Tuesday, bumped up higher uh, to as high as it was high. It was 39.43. And then today, it uh, went up to 
intraday at the high, but Mark closed out of this at 39.51. And the reason is, is because it, this movement here and this sort of weakening in these index in these indicators started to show Mark was like, you know what? I made my money. I'm out. Let's move on. Let's go to Coinbase. Coinbase is uh, on the move right now, or it's getting some attention. It's been sideways for quite a while, but it on Monday uh, or on Sunday when he was looking at this, um, it started uh, above, it was above the 200, it was above the 20, above the nine. And on Monday morning, you would have bought this. Is this a paper trade? This is how he uh, does this. And then he, uh, uh, it on Tuesday, it jumped and made a, basically this big gap. And those gaps always, most times get filled, I would say the majority of the time. And Mark went in and took his profits where uh, this stock, uh, where Coinbase opened up on Tuesday. He took his profits right away at its basically close to its high at 30, 83, 59, I believe that's right at that. You can check out the watch list for exactly. So he made money, he was in and out real quick. And that is the environment we are in right now. We are in a volatile environment. Meta just came out with earnings after the, uh, the bell today. Meta is not on Mark's list. It isn't on the watch list. It is not on the horizon or below 200. But as I talked to Mark earlier this afternoon, I was like, what do you think? And he's like, I think this is a turning point, a pivot point. This is where you become very, very, very cautious. So this is meta that gives you an example. Today, intraday, or it closed down 4.17% uh, or down $13.02. It, after, uh, uh, after the uh, bell, they reported earnings. They looked good, but during that uh, uh, the earnings call, the CFO mentioned the word soft. You don't mention the word soft unless you really mean it when you're on an earnings call. And the stock went from it was up, I believe it was up um, five six percent when I saw it. I was driving back from Birmingham after a meeting with. Perry, founder of uh, Best of U.S. Investors, and it was up right after they reported earnings. But when the earnings call started talking, it went down and it is presently at $290.93, as you can see here. So tomorrow's open on Meta, and I think this goes along with what Tesla's uh, earnings call when Elon started speaking about the economy. I think this goes in line. The economy is slowing. The economy is weakening. We have two wars. We ha have social unrest. And we have a retraction of credit. That is historically a sign of a pivot in the global economy. And I believe we are seeing that right here. And so when you trade the swing trades, you follow Mark's guidance. Be tight with your stops. Mark is conservative. Be tight with your stops. Take your profits quick. This is a nine-inning ball game, and you are there to get on base. You get around the bases, you score for points, you win the game in the long run. So there it is. That's the summary for our midday midweek platinum swing trading call. I hope you are well. If you have questions, you always can shoot us an email at support at bestofusinvestors.com. In the meantime, be safe, be kind, and love one another. Peace, live loud.